to my channel. I wanted to do a get ready with me and try some new, well they're not new, but they're new to me Lancome products. I recently did a review on the new Lancome formula for the Tante Dole Ultra Care and Glow, which I actually ended up really, really liking this foundation. It lasts all day, no problem. I have dry skin and it sits beautifully on the skin and product sits beautifully on it. So I don't know, I ended up really liking it. So I was browsing some of their other products. By the way, I have my shade 240W, I believe. Yeah, so it's 240W in case anybody's interested. But I was browsing, they do sell on Amazon now. They have a legitimate Amazon storefront, which makes it so easy to buy their products. But I was looking through their other products and I decided to try their concealer as well for the Tante Dole Ultra ultra wear right here and I got mine in shade 215 buff I believe yeah 215 buff right here never tried any other Lancome products so we'll see and then I also got their priming serum so we're gonna give it a try Lancome has a very like beautiful packaging luxurious something that you can like leave out on your vanity type feel they're definitely a premium beauty brand do you guys see my sister's cat right there She's like chilling with me in the bed. By the way, I'm in my sister's bathroom. We're staying with her for a little bit. Um, so I'm just getting ready in, in, um, in her bathroom right now. But with the premium beauty definitely comes a price tag, but their packaging, look at this packaging. It is absolutely gorgeous. It has like this matte rubber finish and then the gold accents. So I don't know, I'm really excited to try this because it's basically like a moisturizing primer that you apply. It says it has hyaluronic acid in it, 1% hyaluronic acid and niacinamide, which are both things that I usually love in my skincare products for my skin in particular. So I'm interested to see how it performs, but here's what it looks like. I believe it comes with like a little spatula as well. Yep, there's a little spatula here. And then the actual, wow, they like did a really good job with this. <laughs> like, I feel bad just taking this off and throwing it out. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I just fell in my coffee. My coffee's all nice and fancy now. But here's what the product itself looks like. You just kind of like scoop it out onto your skin, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. And I love that they left a little door so that you you have somewhere to actually put this little spatula because I know a lot of brands will give you little spatulas if you have to like instead of dipping your finger in there but then there's nowhere to put the spatula so I feel like their packaging was pretty well thought out it has a little mirror um, so we're gonna see let's scoop a little bit of this uh, this is like one of those oddly satisfying things and I'm just gonna apply some to my skin I did already do my skincare so I don't know how much is too much or too little, but I'm just gonna, okay, so it feels, ends up feeling like a very light, very light moisturizer. Like it has a very moisturizing feel to it. it smells like a Lancome product. Lancome, Lancome, I don't know. Sometimes I say Lancome, sometimes I'll say Lancome. I don't really like that it has a pink tint to it. I don't know if that pink tint transfers and is visible on the skin because I feel like my face is already pink compared to the rest of my body. So I kind of try to use products to neutralize any pink or redness. So I'm gonna let my skin settle down because my skin is pretty sensitive like anytime I touch it, but it almost has like a little bit of a powdery finish to it. it feels very moisturizing. Um, so it feels almost like a silicone -y primer in a way. Oh yeah, it definitely doesn't leave a pink cast. My skin neutralizes. It just sometimes when I touch it, it reacts right away. But it, it does feel hydrating. I did already have a moisturizer on though, so I'm just interested to see how it wears throughout the day. I do want to do a wear test. So from first impressions, I mean I can't complain. To be honest, I usually do not use primers. Next, I'm gonna try the concealer again. Their packaging, super bougie and luxe in my opinion. And I have the shade 215, as I mentioned. This is. Is this a glass bottle? No, this is plastic. Their foundation is glass. It says all over concealer. All right, it has a pretty big doe foot applicator. I don't know how this is gonna work, so I don't wanna apply too much. I don't know if you can hear my kids having the time of their lives in the background. Let me text them and tell them to settle down. I've never used this concealer, so I don't know how much is too much. So I'm just gonna start off with my normal amount of concealer 
And I'm gonna use this Enzo Ken concealer brush here just because I want a little bit more coverage. Usually I'll use the e.l.f. camo, the little teensy sponge, and that one works really well. Ooh, it's blending out really nicely. Let me grab this mirror here. It doesn't seem like it's drying down fast. Like I'm still able to blend it out even after having it set on my skin for a few seconds. And it seems like it has a light coverage. It seems almost serum-y which I love because my skin is dry. So I love a serum -y concealer that will give me a little bit of coverage. If I have anything like shape tape, um, I have to be very, very careful with because throughout the day it will start to, um, it will just look cakey and it just doesn't work well for my skin type. So depending on your skin type, you're obviously gonna choose products that work for you, but from first impressions, again, I like this concealer. Like it's light, light coverage. It's not full coverage, but it seems like it really brightened my under eye, like the little blueness that I had going on. It seems hydrating, has a glowy finish. Um, so I don't know, I like it. If you used a sponge, it would probably be more sheer, but I used this Enzo Ken concealer brush and I feel like that gave it a little bit more coverage than usual. I'm gonna go on next to the foundation and this one I had like a full video review on and again I have shade 240W um, and I don't know I just came to really like this foundation like I feel like product sits so beautifully on top of it my skin still looks like skin I will say though you have to be careful if you have any dry patches like actual dry patches I feel like this can cling to it to your dry patches, so just um, be mindful of that. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out, and this is a Haley's brush that I got off of Amazon, um, and it's just like a nice brush to blend my foundations out. I just use this all the time, and it works well. I love drugstore products. I feel like you really get your bang for your buck, like especially for certain things like um, lip products, blushes sometimes, sometimes bronzers, things like that, eyebrow products. I feel like you don't have to spend a lot of money to get really good beauty products for certain categories. Let's say when it comes to foundation, because it's something that's covering your entire face and you wear it for such a long period of time, that is something that I would splurge on. Concealers, um, I also feel like you can find some pretty decent drugstore concealers, but for the most part, I would say foundations, I would definitely splurge on. That is just something that I've noticed playing around with different kinds of makeup and things like that. And I don't know if anybody else agrees, but that's just a personal observation of mine. But here is the finish of the Lancome Tatty Dole Ultra Karen Glow. Just leaves my skin looking like my skin. It still looks like skin. It has like, I have a light right here, so it's kind of reflecting a bit more than usual versus if I had it off, like let it adjust a little bit, it wouldn't be. Um, it would look a little bit different, so you can definitely see more of a glow with the light here. But it just looks healthy, glowy. The cat's opening the door. It's like, ooh, or she's playing with my sister's robe. Hey, Willow. How you doing, girl? She finally warmed up to me. She did not like me the first couple of days. She was like hitting me, like she was like, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> It was hilarious me and my sister were cracking up. The Lancome line from First Impressions, I'm pretty impressed with and I really like. The only thing I will say is I feel like I can still feel a little bit of that silicone siliconiness of the primer here. So I can kind of feel it on my skin a little bit. Like I didn't, I don't feel like it's settled in and seeped in. It seems like it's just sitting on top of my skin, which makes sense because it's a primer. That's how it's supposed to act in a way. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and for setting my face, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Halo Go Glow Powder, and this I really like. It's a great drugstore product in my opinion. It's very fine. I have the Laura Mercier one, well, not the Laura Mercier, I have the Ilia one, and I love that one. I think that one's really nice, but this one adds like a very nice subtle sheen. Like let me apply it to my arm here so you guys will be able to see. Like a very, very, very subtle sheen to the skin so it doesn't like fully mattify it. It leaves a little bit of a sheen, so I'm gonna go ahead and set I set my under eyes first, and then like whatever's left over, I'll go over right here, and then I'll go over my forehead, and I also like to do, like chisel out the cheek area, let it sit there for a bit, and I have to be careful not to overdo it, 
with setting powder because I do have dry skin. Go ahead and swipe some of that powder away. I do feel that the powder really helped get rid of anything that I might have felt from the primer that I was just talking about. Like this feels, I can still feel a little bit of something, but I don't feel like if somebody touches my face, my whole, all my makeup is gonna come off. So it definitely helped kind of like set everything. So I would recommend using a setting powder. And I'm gonna go in with bronzer. With bronzer, I have this little NARS right here. This is a Laguna bronzer. I'm gonna be using a Haley's brush once again. This is like their bronzing angled brush. And I kind of like to pat it into the skin because I feel that way it's just less splotchy for me. One thing that I don't like is if my bronzer ends up splotchy, which bronzer is another thing that I think is hard because sometimes you can find a good drugstore bronzer like I have the Physician's Formula, the coffee one, like the butter bronzer, the coffee version, which I think that one's really nice, but sometimes with drugstore ones, um, they can end up splotchy throughout the day. So bronzer, I think it's hit or miss. I think most people would say go with a luxury brand or more so a premium brand when it comes to bronzers. And bronzers last forever. Like I got this on my birthday last year as a sample and I use it quite often. Really like the finish because it doesn't look muddy. It's not too glittery or anything. Like right now it looks kind of intense. Right here, I think I stippled it on a little bit too much. It wears beautifully throughout the day, especially on top of this Lancome foundation. Sometimes I like to use a bronzer and kind of go underneath the eyes as well, since I have pretty voluminous lashes on right now. To kind of balance things out a bit. I also have these um, e.l.f. Halo Glow beauty wands here, and I want to do a separate video on them. But I was thinking to use the blush, ooh, almost dropped it, the blush and the highlight in today's video. I probably should have used it before I went ahead and set my face. Or maybe I'll just literally save them for their own video. Yeah, I'll probably save them for their own video. So last thing I have to do is brows. Brows, the drugstore definitely has really great brow products. I especially love the NYX line. They have some of my all-time favorite brow products for such an affordable price. This is the NYX. Uh, brow waist pencil and they have some new shades. This is the color cool ash brown I really like the shade because it almost seems gray, but once it blends in I love that it has like no warmth to it. So if you're looking for a um, Eyeshadow pencil that is very cool toned try their cool ash brown Okay, my sister has this benefit um, Like this little fiber brow setter. I have one from NYX the thicket one. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that I love the glue it from NYX, that thing. I really, really love that product. I'm gonna try this today. You have to be careful with this because it does deposit color. This is the, I think the shade three? Could be wrong. All right, my battery is dying. So actually perfect timing because I'm all done with my makeup. I'm gonna apply some NYX lip oil. This is the one that's chic. It's like, it looks like it's gonna be super dark, but it's actually not. I don't know, I've been loving lip oils lately so i like pop one in every single purse to take with me i have one from clean girl or juicy i don't remember what that one's called the clean girl fresh one those are really nice as well but here's the finished look of the makeup still looks like my skin very natural love how it's sitting how it feels how it looks i'm gonna do a wear test and then pop back on here at the end of the day we're gonna hang out with family and then i'll see you guys later on today Actually the next day by the time we got home and then I picked up the camera to take off my makeup it was basically midnight so I tried to include a clip of what my makeup looked at the end of the day and I was very happy with how it looked and wore throughout the day um, I didn't feel like the main things that I look for usually is especially when I'm wearing daily makeup where I'm gonna be like talking to people face to face and things like that I want my makeup to still kind of look like skin like I don't want it to look like when you're on camera you can go heavier with makeup and um, get away with it versus when you're face to face. 
I don't really want my makeup to look cakey. I don't really like that at all. And it makes me self-conscious to think like, oh, is my makeup looking cakey? So I personally like my makeup to kind of not necessarily look like skin in the sense that you can see everything through it, but I just don't want it to like, look cakey but like I'm not a fan of heavy makeup that's just my personal preference especially when I'm going to be like talking face to face to people and I was very happy with uh the finish of everything and then how it wore I had it on for a bit over 12 hours because I applied my makeup it was probably like nine in the morning or something and then by the time I took it out it was past midnight took it off it was past midnight I just really come to love this foundation I think it's just provides a very nice finish it's unless you have really really dry patches I feel like if you have dry skin then you will probably like it I can't speak for oily skin I just can only speak from my experience the concealer I really like as well I love a serum -y concealer it provided like I have everything on today as well and the only thing that I changed was my bronzer i used uh, physician's formula butter bronzer like their latte one and then also i used a different setting powder but everything else i kept the same and just basically wearing it all day let me actually zoom in a little bit this concealer it's not heavy at all i love the cerami formula there's one by nyx that performs in a very similar way it's called nyx bear with me i love that concealer it's pretty light, but it offers a little bit of coverage as well. So if you're like me and you're looking for something like that, then I think the Lancome, they, that concealer is actually really, really nice. But at the same time, I feel like the NYX one is very, very similar and it's so much more affordable. But I did like the Lancome one. I thought that was a really good concealer. The primer, I haven't really played around with primers because I don't usually wear them, so it's hard for me to say. But this one I did like. I like that it has hyaluronic acid, niacinamide. It had like that silicone-y type finish where you can like feel that it's like sitting on your skin instead of being absorbed into your skin. But then when I set everything, I did like it. Again, I'll have to like keep playing around with it and see. So that I liked. Foundation I love. I've come to really love that foundation. And then concealer I love, but I do feel like I feel like you can get find more affordable concealers. Like again, the NYX Bear With Me one, I think it performs in a similar way. It's also like a serum type concealer. It's very hydrating and it also offers like light medium coverage. But overall, I was very happy with everything I tried. Like there wasn't none of the products. I was like, ugh, I would not buy this again. But that's kind of my first impressions and review on that. I will link anything down below that I used for it to easily find it as well as the shades. But I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts on that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys very, very soon.